Hello, Wolfpack members and anybody else in general. Welcome to the Long Dark. My name is Lonely Wolf, and we are here. Oh, I've got a problem going on. Hold on, let me fix it. There we go. All right, fixed. Uh, we are making our way to the new Hushed River Valley. Uh, if you don't know how to access it, hard to see. Uh, it is from the cave system up in Milton. Um, I'm not going to spoil it. You guys can probably figure it out for yourself. There's not many caves in Milton, so... <clears throat> it won't be too hard for you guys to figure out, and maybe I'll reveal it later on. I don't know. Um, firewood, that's going to be good. I'm already overweight, as you can both hear and see in the bottom right-hand corner. Uh, which does not bode well for adventuring into a new region. Ooh, a piece of coal. Um, in other words, I'm just carrying far too much weight. Not been to the new region at all yet. Not looked up any maps of it. I'm not even sure where to go, go, but I'm gonna take this flare just in case it turns out useful. And I'm kind of just uh, following the flow of the cave. I'm trying to see where it goes. Completely new addition. Um, anyway, we'll see how that loads up. Um, let's see here. I think this is the exit right here. Should be the exit, if anything else. We'll just put up my torch, bolster it, and step outside. Well, this is it. This is Hushed River Valley. I brought big old Bertha along. Actually, I picked up big old Bertha on the windmill. This is Freya from our Stalker series on YouTube. Don't know if uh, you've been following along on YouTube or not, but uh, I haven't. I didn't record the trip from Pleasant Valley to here. Um, I was kind of hoping the update would land us in. Left or right? Left or right? Let's go left. I was hoping the update would drop uh, the region in off a of connection in Pleasant Valley, but oh, was I so wrong. It is here. It... Mm, what's the words I'm looking for? Words. <laughs> That's for sure. Stupid overlays. I hate them. Need them, but I hate them. The curse of only having one monitor. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's gorgeous! Look at this view! Ah! <laughs> oh my goodness, you cannot contain my excitement. There is no containing this. This is drop dead gorgeous. Major, major kudos to the team at Hinterland Studios for developing this region. <sighs> I still could finally step foot in here. Hey, look, there's one of those signal fires they were talking about. Anyway, I brought big old Bertha with me just in case we run into bears or wolves or any other affiliated dangerous sketchy wildlife. So signal fire means there's a cache up there at some point. Wow, this place is so ridiculously beautiful. Well, there's the river. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to navigate this. Um... Obviously, it heads down that direction, but there's a way up on top of these structures somehow. Uh, climbing from some way, I would assume. I, I'm wondering if this is a back way up to the top over here. We'll just see um, where all I can climb around up here. Uh, getting late in the day. I am going to need to find shelter soon enough. Or make it. I did bring a... Fully repaired bedroll. Uh, well, nearly fully repaired bedroll. Oh, these antibiotics are nearly out. Yeah, 90 pounds. I've carton with me. So we're going to find a place to call home and set up shelter there. No guarantees whatsoever about how that's going. A rope climb. Well, I am not rested enough for that at all. So we're just going to ignore that for now. I didn't even bring any charcoal with me if I wanted to do mapping. Which... 
I'm not sure whether to be happy about or upset about. A long way up just to reach a first ledge. That's going to be a day's journey right there for that. I've lost that bear. I know he's down there to my left somewhere. Um, yeah. I ain't anything like Hushed River Valley. <sighs> Makes you wonder what's going to come to this map as they add regions to the game. I really am not certain how this is going to go. Well, they've added 13 new minutes um, of new survival OST to the game. Down trip to the game. Ooh, a campfire. And uh, I have yet to hear any of it but one. Well, if I had known there was going to be a cooking pot in here, I probably would not have loved one halfway across the map. Moose meat cooked. Interesting. I probably would not have logged one halfway across the map. 86%. What's this one at? 82%. You can stay behind. This verticality is interesting. Oh, we got some snowflakes coming. I may be blind. I may be forgetful. I may be both. Whatever, let's just get off of here. I can even do that. I'm so fat. Uh, yeah, we brought Big Bertha with a full clip. And, uh... Along with its full clip. Yeah, well, it might be possible to climb down over here, actually. I scooch along that ledge. Don't like this weather. Um, with a full clip loaded and with another full clip ready to be inserted if the need arises. I did also bring um, little Timmy, my bow. So we'll see how how we need to utilize each of them. I did bring uh, arrow crafting supplies as well. I have a thousand painkillers. When I saw verticality included in the description for the region, um, that was my first thought was, well, time to figure out. Oh, it's a beautiful shot. Hmm. game is gorgeous like no other. I've yet to ever find a game that has captivated me quite like the long dark. Yeah, uh, rifle back out. I think I also brought the flare gun which I haven't named yet. Might name him Flurry McFlurry Face but it seems pretty cliche. Got Big Bertha, Little Timmy. Maybe we could rename the rifle to Old Bessie, and we could rename the flare gun to something Bertha. I want to get over to that waterfall. I think the ice cave is what is behind it. I need shelter, though. Just add more weight to the burden, shall we? Oh, what is this? I can hear the bear up above me. Some scrub brush. Is it a fallen blizzard or is it just the sound effect from being huddled up inside this little chasm? Now if Hinterland was sadistic enough to put wolves inside this little narrow chimney crevice... Hoo hoo hoo. Oh, so there's one of the climbing features. Alright, we're nearing... Oh, you have to cut through some of the scrub brush. Well, give me 12 sticks. Here we go, scrub brush out of the way. I don't want the weight, but can I climb while encumbered? Oh, I can. It's not like a rope. I'm probably going to fall because I'm so heavy. Oh, not quite. I don't know if I can get back up that. Oh, wow, look at this. This really is a chasm. This is actually going to be putting a lot of my survival skills in the long dark to the test for once. No man-made shelter to go running off to. You can hear something running around up there. At least it's up there, not down here. Anyway. Um, words, 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 words. I was talking about something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My survival skills. Sounds like there's a wolf up there right here. Oh, look, a cave! <gasps> there's one of the ice caves! <gasps> oh, the 
guess. I don't want to waste a match and light my torch, so we'll just proceed by light of the bioluminescent moss. And hope there's no crevices we fall into. Is this literally it? Can't be. I'm blind if that's so. There's something I can't see? Got two flares. Like you, torch still has plenty of life in it. Use the terrible fire striker. That looks like there could have been a way through there at one point. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, this is gorgeous. I, I I fall in love every time. This is this is beautiful. This is amazing. This is just the greatest. Um, gotta check something super duper quick. Pardon me. Pardon me. Alright. Sorry about that. I hate to interrupt the stream for any reason. This torch ain't gonna last me long, so I'm gonna have to either make more torches or find a way. Ah! There's a wolf in here! Come on, I can't mash left click hard enough. Hinterland! Ah! You put wolves in the bloody cave? Don't do that to me! This is Fluffy 101 all over again! How dare you! I love you, Hinterland! Fluffy's back! Alright, let's go chase that mangy butt down. Come here. I got you this time. Come at me. Oh, I might want to reload the rifle while I'm at it. Should have brought more torches. We'll have to put this out at some point and uh, use a flare. It's already half dead. An improvised hatchet and some accelerant. Anything on you? I pardon for breaking your uh, earplugs with that screech there, but I was not expecting a wolf in what I was assuming to be safety. That was... Um, Pretty darn sketch. If and you ask me. So, I've already blown out two bullets on the rifle. Hmm, really dark, but navigable. I wonder whether this will lead me. We do have to go to sleep soon. We are tired. I didn't even do much for my water needs. Yet to try out the cooking. I'm not gonna cook that wolf up. Openings up top. Branches in here. This looks like a good place to set up shop. Uh, no guarantees it's wolf free down here though. We've already had one wolf. Well, that just looks... Hold up. Rope climb I can't bother with. Well... Why don't we set up camp right here for the night? Um... I'm not gonna bother about putting up a fire. I'm gonna guess that wolf was the one wolf. And we should be plenty warm. I do need to drop weight though to get me down to an acceptable weight, so 
I'm gonna be dropping everything I don't consider per. I don't even know why I brought a pry bar. There's not gonna be any containers here to open, is there? Space that out. Oh, I forgot. You can also do the uh, place from the radial menu. So, use right click to place directly from the radial. That's something they add. Um, all right, hacksaw. Not gonna need that. I've got the hatchet. Yes, spare whetstone. Rifles down to 47%. I should have brought a rifle cleaning kit. <sighs> we'll leave him behind and we'll rely on Flurry McFlurry Face or the little Timmy. Um, food, we'll eat this for dinner. Use. Use. I mean, I knew they I knew they updated it to be more consistent, but still, use seems a little ridiculous. Alright, so we got some milk we can drop. Yeah, that'll get us underweight for the morning climb. Oh, this was the torn clothing. All right, we need to repair this. I'm not, I didn't even bring much cloth. I think I brought eight cloth. At least it's bright enough in here to repair the bioluminescence. Oh, help. Six pieces of cloth, five pieces of cloth. We'll probably be returning to Milton at some point to get some cloth before coming back, I think. Because four pieces of cloth ain't gonna hold out long. We can also drop all these, they're cured. As well as this guy. 112 rose hips. Why did I bring that many? Oh, I can't see at all. Uh, drop the kid leather. Doesn't weigh that much. Drop the rose hips. I'd rather place those in a container, but we'll drop them. Um. 59 pounds, that's acceptable. Place the bedroll, please. Uh, we're nearly full on water, just drink real quick to get full. Then we'll sleep and pray that was the only wolf that's in the caves. And we'll go for seven hours for the first rest bit. Um, nearly pretty much fully rested. I can't see anything, can I? I have to light something to be able to see. We could wait for day. Um, I can... Uh... We got a placement like right there. Okay. Pass the time for three hours. I'm just trying to get it daylight in here. We'll sleep for the last hour. Get a little bit more condition back up. Well, if that ain't the quickest low climb you've ever seen, this will probably be safer up here. Well, I have an out up there. And we have a further exploratory, a bedroll. 70%, so we have a spare bedroll. Some dog food, some tomato soup. And a book. Some matches and soda. That seems to be it. It's really dark, hard to tell. But this little alcove. This is the exit. So yeah, this should be wolf free, so we can make this our home up here. So even if that wolf I killed does respawn at some point, uh, we should be safe. I'm just gonna leave little Timmy out in case we come across uh, predators. Alright, let's see what's out here. I don't know how high we're gonna be. Not high on weed, high elevation. Oh, 